Welcome to worship at our Savior's in Arlington Heights. We gather in the name of the Holy Trinity, one God, our loving shepherd, who creates us, redeems us, and calls us by name. We begin our worship service today with a moment of silent reflection and confession. Loving God, you are the shepherd, and we are your flock. We confess that at times we do not follow your lead. We admit that we do not always trust your good news to be good for us. At times, we plead with you to care for us, while at the same time we ignore the needs of others. Lord, have mercy on us. Teach us by the Holy Spirit to follow you trusting that you are always leading us along the right pathways. Siblings in Christ, hear this good news. Once we were like lost sheep who wandered away, but no longer. Our shepherd, God, has restored our souls, covered us in righteousness, and continues to lavish love and goodness on us so that we can spend eternity in the presence of God's unfailing love. Thanks be to God. Amen. shepherd is whose goodness faileth never I'm nothing like if I am his and he is mine forever and he is mine forever where streams of living water flow my ransomed soul he leadeth And where the verdant pastures grow With food celestial feedeth Never failing Ruler of my heart everlasting Lover of my soul On the mountain high Or in the valley low The king of love my shepherd is the king of love, my shepherd is. Lost and foolish, off I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and no rejoicing brought me. Death's dark veil, I fear no ill With thee, dear Lord, beside me Thy rod and staff, they comfort still Thy cross before to guide me Never failing, ruler of my heart Everlasting, lover of my soul On the mountain high or in the valley low, the king of love, my shepherd is. The king of love, my shepherd is. Yeah. Oh, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh. Soul on the mountain high or in the valley low, the 
the king of love my shepherd is the king of love my shepherd is Welcome again to worship on this fourth Sunday after Easter. I'm Pastor Rhonda Pruitt. It's our honor and blessing to have you worshiping with us this weekend. Of note, this is the fourth Sunday after Easter, and it is typically known as Good Shepherd Sunday. It's where we hear in the scripture Jesus make one of many powerful I am statements. This Sunday, I am the Good Shepherd. He describes in detail what a good shepherd does and how we are like the flock and are cared for under his loving watch. We're called to share in that work and caring for and watching out for one another. And one of the ways that the Lutheran Church here and across the ELCA cares for one another is by partnering with Lutheran Social Services of Illinois. This weekend, it's our honor to have preaching for us President and CEO Mark Stutrud, who will highlight the ways we walk into this gospel and live into the mission of the church. Thank you, Mark, and welcome once again. Also, next weekend, worship will be live streamed. We'll be celebrating First Communion Sunday. You'll also be able to commune with us online, so look for instructions closer to time for that opportunity. If you're looking for all of the ways that this church is busy and you're wanting to know what's happening, please feel invited to check out our website for information about those events and activities that are happening in and around the church. For now, let's prepare our heart to hear God's word through scripture. A reading from 1 John chapter 3. We know love by this, that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Should one. 
enter the valley of death. I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me. The Holy Gospel as recorded in John, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 11th verse. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, and for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Greetings to you, the church, who support over 50,000 persons bringing healing, justice, and wholeness to people and communities responding to the gospel, the Good Shepherd. When I think about my family, my friends, I really can't recall anyone who is not struggling or hasn't had some type of challenge or problem in their life. In John 16, Jesus said to his disciples, expect trouble, you will face troubles, persecution. And I imagine that caused the disciples a great deal of concern and worry. So then Jesus explains further, Take courage, knowing in the experience of living a life of faith, I have conquered, I have overcome. To rest in that knowing, in faith, facing trouble. Not long before this, Jesus shared one of his seven I am statements in the Gospel of John. Jesus proclaimed, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd foretold in our Old Testament reading in Psalm 23, the one who provides, secures, leads, comforts in all goodness and mercy. The psalm was written by David, the king of Israel, anointed by God to serve. And David's life was full of trouble, yet he made this stunning proclamation, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He says this as he faces war, death, betrayal, deep sin, and depression. He proclaims, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In the gospel according to John, Jesus, the good shepherd, shares who he is. But first he explains what he is not. He is not the hired hand. The one who sees trouble and abandons any duty actually runs away. Jesus will not run from trouble, will not abandon us. Jesus knows who we are in him. We are his, we belong to him. He makes himself known to us. Jesus knows and loves us so much that he lays down his life for us, only to take it up again. It is Easter. He is risen. Jesus, the good shepherd, true, righteous, and faithful. The good shepherd goes ahead of us, and we walk behind. This is to respond, to live out the gospel, the good news. 
The mission of LSSI is responding to the gospel. Lutheran Social Services of Illinois brings healing, justice, and wholeness to people and communities, persons with disabilities, children at risk of or placed in foster care, persons with mental health and substance use problems, senior adults in need of affordable housing and in-home supports, people and families impacted by incarceration. The Ministry of LSSI serves the state of Illinois with over 1,100 employees and volunteers in 40 locations. People like Marnie, a foster parent. When asked why she became a foster parent, Marnie said, I'm stubborn. I know I can do this. I know I can make a difference. Marnie started as a traditional foster parent and moved to LSSI's therapeutic foster care program, which places children with histories of severe trauma in treatment homes where they receive more one-on-one -on -one attention. In her 28 years as a foster parent, Marnie has cared for over 100 children. We are grateful for people like Marnie who know that being a foster parent is not without challenges, but that the rewards are priceless. LSSI is also embedded 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the emergency departments of five community hospitals providing behavioral health services. Sandy came to a site with her young daughter in distress seeking shelter after having been forced out or turned away from other hospitals for lingering with her child without medical issues. When an LSSI counselor on site met with her, she confided that she was attempting to escape domestic violence. The counselor discussed several options available to her and her child, and Sandy decided to seek shelter in the designated safe haven for victims of domestic abuse. The LSSI counselor spent hours making calls and keeping Sandy updated while answering her questions and addressing her concerns, all the while assisting and caring for other patients. We are grateful for counselors who serve as separates, never giving up, never walking away. The Good Shepherd leads and we follow. This is to live by faith. LSSI is called to follow the Good Shepherd, providing healing, justice, and wholeness for both the person served and the person serving. Engaging people with dignity, surrounding people with an ecosystem of supports, connecting people with the supports and resources they require. I thank God for you and for your generous support and caring. You provide the means to have an amazing impact in the lives of those who serve and those who are served. Amen. Restore. 
With the whole people of God, let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Shepherding God, gather your church whenever we wander from you and one another. Help us to open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to the needs of those around us. Guide our hands, our feet, and our words to do as you have done for us. Walk with us daily in our efforts to spread the good news, to share your love, and to be a blessing to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nurturing God, preserve the health of biomes and ecosystems. Bring your creation into harmony and balance. Inspire scientists, researchers, conservation organizations, and all people entrusted with the task of caring for creation, that we may be better stewards of the world around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, bless Lutheran Social Services of Illinois for all the ministry work they do every day. Empower all churches in our state to support their work in a generous way so that they can continue their mission of helping others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray that your love may bring comfort to those who feel pain or sickness. Embrace all who feel lonely or excluded and continue to walk next to those who are fighting battles that only you know about. We continue to pray for those who need your healing touch. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, in thanksgiving we lift before you the saints for whom the promise of salvation has been fulfilled. Tend to those who mourn. Lead us in your grace until, with all your saints, we enter the fullness of your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love, through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Make Christ known. Thanks be to God. Shepherd, lead us, much we need your tender care. In thy pleasant pastures, feed us, for our use your folds prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have brought us, we are yours. We are yours and love, befriend us, be the guardian of our way. Keep your 
back from sin defend us seek us when we go astray blessed Jesus blessed Jesus hear us children when we pray blessed Jesus blessed Jesus hear us children when we pray you have promised to receive us poor and sinful though we be you have mercy to leave us grace to cleanse and power to Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to you. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to you. Early let us seek your faith. Do your will, blessed Lord and only Savior, with your love our spirits fill. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have loved us, love us still. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have loved us, love us still.